What's going on you guys back with another video and I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering why do I still have these cheap eBay this one already this spun and all kind of why well, I still have these on I've been so busy I haven't been able to even have time to switch these but that's what we're going to do today we're going to do install today how to install the harness bar and how to install seat harness and then tech. install the harness bar and the uh, harness those are the old seats this is the old setup this bar in the back is just a straw bar in the back i have a lot of support <laughs> my car rides very stiff because i have a lot of freaking straw bars my engine bay b20 vtech b20 block b uh b16a head yeah that's how we rocking so it's about to be turbo in a minute though so you know all right what you do is usually you'll have uh this is where your seatbelt goes, right? So you'll take that little flap off. I know I can't do it now because I already did this in a previous video, but you take that flap off and there's a bolt and you unscrew it and then see right there? This little fitting part right there, you put that. That's where the top bar goes, right? And then right here, I don't know if I can show you guys this. Here you see that little spot my harness is actually going into? Like down there, that little bolt right there. That little bolt right there. That's where the bottom bar is gonna go. So that one, which I didn't even grab. Well the the bar that goes um those two bars I'm gonna show you next. Go from right here and then go up into there. And the bar goes over across, connects the two. And I'm gonna show you guys all this. I'm gonna give you guys a rough little go around. I'm gonna show you guys how it actually looks. And then the seats of course, uh I think the harness set up different, so when I figure that out, I'm going to let you guys know how I did it. And after, so, it's the before. Like, you can tell, like, bro, I may not even need new seats right now. Like, I can I can rock with these for a little bit longer. Because I really want to put a lot more money into my turbo build. I need to get stage 4 clutch steel, uh, Honda, and I need to get the, um, the 4 bar, um, app sensor. This bothers me so much. If it wasn't for this, it'd be a little bit more tolerable. But I don't even know why. Like, look at this stuff. Like, that doesn't even come off. I don't even know what that is. It's like my seat is sweating. But it's not. It's just stuck like that. I don't know. Whatever. So let me go ahead and get this going, y'all. I wish I had someone to hold my camera, but I don't. Put right here, these ones. In the back seat, though, these quarter ones. It's a wrench. 17 mil wrench. Oh, I ain't got the camera on it. These ones in the back, though. Pain. Gotta get these with a wrench. So my issue is, <clears throat> I can fit up in the corner, okay, like at the top part. When it comes to fitting it down here, let me make sure it's the right side. It's not really the right side. Because the finger down here, this is my problem. That you're supposed to use. It has a little the ring on it, so your harness can clip into it, and it goes through here, right? So it goes through there, and this is actually a part of uh, this bar. Let me actually use the correct one. Got to take it off. So this goes in here, right? And you can adjust the height. Make sure you put it in here, right? Boom. It's supposed to connect at the top. Not a problem. When we connect it right here, I can't put it in. Like, it literally won't go. So I have to like, my shoe is that this, I feel this bolt is too small. The, um, I'm taking the wrong thing out. This bolt right here, the length of this is too short, so literally, like, I'm pushing against it and I can't get it through. I don't know if it's because it's nighttime I start getting frustrated or what, but let me try it right now. Because that, that literally stopped me from installing this last night. So right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting this out. Give myself some more room. Because I ain't got time to find this plastic. This is a portion of my car that nobody's going to see anyway. Make sure you use a knife, you guys be careful. I don't like cutting their fingers off and blame, 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 uh, blaming JDM Swag. Hey, JDM Swag told me to do it like this. Come and finger some on you. Nope. This install is at your own discretion. I'm not responsible for any vehicle damage as well. Okay, y'all, this is like days later after that last video. I was getting frustrated and everything, and then some stuff happened when I was showing you guys what the issue was, but 
The issue was I couldn't get this bow in there. It's like so short. It's like very difficult to put in there. I ever tried to cut the carpet so I can get some leeway. That of course didn't help, but I ended up having to, uh, there's this wire cover. I don't want to take it off because I just put this on. But when you take off this right here, this little piece of, uh, let me get actually get in here. When you take off that, the carpet right here, there's well, wires going down. And this, this cover is, hold, is, you know, blocking the, you know, protecting the wires. You have to take this off. Or what it is, because where this is at, it's going to push against the wires. I actually put my wires up in this area. So it's not pressing on it, but I just got to be careful like, about, you know, do anything with this. I got to make sure I lift this carpet, make sure I'm not going to pinch the wires. But anyway, so, oh yeah, I also had to take out my seat, give me this extra room. And uh, yeah, so you take up the carpet, remove the seat, just to give yourself some more room. It's not, you know, necessary, but I highly re recommend it. And I need to actually clean this. This is nasty. But anyway, um, so after you, you know, take this little plastic protection cover off, and you remove the seat you're gonna put these wires up here and you have to pull the carpet back like back towards this way like outside the car so you get that room so you can actually put it in there it's gonna take a while to get in to fit because you literally have minimal threads showing so yeah but it's in there so i just gotta tighten this up here though i don't even know if this is the right bolt for it but i mean that's the only bolts that i have the other bolts that i have it doesn't even fit in here so that has to be the bolt and then that, so I'm gonna just tighten that up and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And I'm gonna put the seat harness in and then I'm gonna install my Skull 2 stickers really at right there. Boom, Skull 2 stickers. And yeah, I'll be able to drive this car again because I have not been driving this car because I could not put these dang harness in. So yeah, I looked at uh I looked at YouTube videos and all kind of stuff, you guys. I couldn't figure out how to do it, at least for an integra. So hopefully people see this video, how to put seat harness and harness bar in for an integra and find my video and then hope y'all subscribe to the channel. So yeah. Sorry I didn't show you guys actually me like take all that stuff off because I was trying to make sure I, it's hot out here and I was trying to make sure I did it but I was going to explain to you guys how I did it. So even though you didn't see me exactly do it, you have an idea like what I what was needed to be done, the process to actually get the harness in, the harness bars. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to take the seat out and do the same thing because I'm ready to just get this stuff. <laughs> I'm ready to get this done. This video is probably going to be long. I have to cut it up a lot. So yeah. Take out the other seat and we're going to put these harnesses in. Let's go. Alright y'all, so this is the part I was telling you, when you uh, move this carpet, you'll see this little plastic cover, so all you gotta do is just, there's like tape at the end, electrical tape, you just unravel that, and really just pull it apart, like, apart like that, so right here, and you'll pull one end that way, other end this way, and you'll just all the way down, and it has, it's on like little clips too, let's see, there's one clip right there, see, that's it, you sand it for the side, goes up, pull that off, and I'm showing that earlier, and you're golden. So I remember with this thing, right? You just pull it apart, just, just like that. Oop. See, it comes right off. All right, so now that we have the harness bar in, finally, right? Finally, it took so long. So I gotta see, I take those little plastic things out. I'm sorry, I know my carpet is trash. I gotta vacuum it. I ain't vacuuming it since I put these seats in here. I even found my old house key, one of my old house key. My house I'm in now, but my house key was in there. Thought I lost it. It's right there. Thought I lost it, but guess not. So anyway, after you uh, do those, right? And the way you tighten those, you guys, is you get a wrench. Put it in there. And you tighten it. Like, boom. I have to retighten this one. Well, not retighten it, but I need to tighten it some more. It's tight and it's all that's done. I'll give you guys a back shot though. Look at this. Pause. Pause. Look at that though. That's the race car AF right there. And I might not be able to put that seat in there. You can see how like this seat reclines a little bit more and it hits the harness bar. So I mean I'm gonna have to just say no to that seat and just be you know a little weight reduction. Yeah I know I can use it with my with my subs in the back. Then I'll use that weight reduction. I almost forgot to put this in the video. <laughs> so, 
So, you know, I got in this off right, new sticker. I got another one on the other side, too. So, so on there. So, that's official, not just a sticker. My car will have these parts in it, too. Damn. Dude, fun to your boy, though. But yeah. Thank you for watching the video. I got some more stuff to come. Hope y'all enjoyed this content. Show y'all your seats one more time, though. Just look at that view. I'm gonna just leave it like that for now. I'm gonna put the back seat in there, though. But I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna do the other seat yet because, yeah, I don't feel like. <laughs> I'm just lazy right now. I got some other stuff to do, and yeah, so. Dope. That's a good thumbnail right there. That's a good thumbnail.